It's Monday, the 2nd of September 2019. Welcome to your local news for today. In the news, police launches more programs to fight cybercrime. Vacation Project Suriname Red Cross closed. Access for Surinamese fruits and vegetables on the world markets should be better. And Migrants Day commemorated yesterday. The police are launching more programs to fight cybercrime in Suriname. Various departments of the police force are deployed for this, says Humphrey Narden, head of information department of the police force Suriname, KPS. The goal is more focused on raising awareness and reducing the number of victims of cybercrime. According to the top police official, it is a serious point of concern. Furthermore, Nader explains that there are still misconceptions that shifts the focus of cybercrime. Also, it is not yet clear enough when a criminal offense is committed via the internet. That makes that, in some cases, victims are not aware that they are being deceived. The approach of the police, therefore, includes that the community will be punctually informed about the different forms of cybercrime. He gave some simple examples with which mainly young people are more often confronted with. The inspector also called on parents and guardians to be alert with minors who use, among other things, a smartphone and with the friends they are in contact with. Young people were also made aware of the negative effects of environmental pollution in the vacation. At the conclusion of the holiday project of the Suriname Red Cross last Friday, among other things, a mini fair was held with an emphasis on the importance of a clean environment. Several environmental issues were addressed with the young people at a level that was very easy for them to understand. According to the Red Cross, this is also deliberately planned to better reach the target group and the aim of the activity. Santusha Slainhart of the Red Cross informed that the young people were also taught first aid techniques which they were able to demonstrate themselves last Friday. All in all, the leadership of the Red Cross speaks of a successful holiday activity where the young people were not only entertained but moreover were able to gather important information as well. The access for Surinamese fruits and vegetables, carrot and root vegetables, and non-timber forest products on the world market should be improved. To achieve this, the Surinamese Agriculture Market Access Project, SAMAP, was officially launched on Friday in the meeting room of the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries. The launch was accompanied by a workshop for farmers and agro-producers. SAMAP is a four-year project that should ensure sustainable development within the agriculture in Suriname. This project consists of two components, the first of which releases the market access for small farmers and agribusinesses. The second component of SAMAP project is to support the government of Suriname on enabling the institutions, the organizations, to provide food safety standards for the country. So we are currently working with the Ministry of Agriculture, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Trade and others in order to help them to develop a national food safety agency that will support the pro efforts of the, of the productive sectors, of the farmers, of producers, guiding them on what are the standards that they have to take into consideration when they want to export a determined market, what are the certifications that they need to take into account, and what are the steps that need to follow to enter those markets. It is intended that the SAMAP should have benefits for the entrepreneurs and the Surinamese society, such as funds and capacity building. Different ethnicities and groups 
were able to share their cultural elements yesterday with the rest of the community. This happened during the commemoration of the Surinamese Migrants Day at the Independence Square with various performances and cultural demonstrations. According to Iwan Weinharde, Chairman of the Federasi Fu Afrikaan Saranamang, it's a great initiative from the National Commemoration of Jubilee Years. There were several stands on the Independence Square where visitors could get information about the various cultural groups that are in Suriname. Among those present were the Brazilians who not only presented their culinary culture, but they also highlighted the many years of cooperation with Suriname. We also have a, a, a good number of Brazilians that live and work here in Suriname that have come from uh, decades ago, that have formed their families uh, with Surinamese people, among Brazilians who work uh, in the interior. So it's a very good initiative that now we feel part of the whole of the different migrants that came to Suriname. And uh, uh, the Brazilians are part of Suriname. So I'm very glad that this is happening this year. I hope it happens every year. From now on. The Surinamese of Haitian descent also participated in the festivities during the Migrants' Day. In addition to the typical Haitian snacks and drinks, visitors were also presented with the art and culture of Haiti. The Migrants' Day fits in exactly with the plan of the Consul General in Haiti in Suriname, namely to raise awareness of Haitian culture in Suriname. Basically, we have to be more open because the, the first Haitian that arrived in, in Suriname were here to do labor, to work. Basically, they were not about culture. That's why the new group of diplomats that are in Suriname, we, we, we are we obliged to, to expose our culture and to, be, to partner with Suriname and just any event so we can showcase our culture. But we will have bigger event, like uh, when we have flag days, we will, we will change that to have big exposition so we can expose Haitian culture. Thank you for joining us during this Monday edition of your local news for today. Have a pleasant day and remember to always be yourself and stay positive.